Alright guys, welcome back to another disaster detail. Today we have a 2011 Ford Edge. And this car is one of the worst cars we've had on the channel yet. So you guys definitely want to make sure you stay tuned to the very end to see this transformation. We don't even know what color this carpet is. Obviously it's tan because of the seats, we can tell that. But it has the nastiest stains I've ever seen. You can definitely tell there was tons of kids in this car, tons of food, tons of drinks, tons of everything so with this car we are going to completely strip the seats and the carpet to make sure we can give this car the deepest clean we possibly can without further ado let's get into this disaster detail all right guys one more thing before we get into this nasty detail so a lot of y'all in the comments have been asking where we get our products from the answer to that is pearl nano go check out their website go check out the products we use enter the code mad20 get 20% off all right guys we're gonna start this disgusting edge off with a nice proper tire cleaning making sure we're getting all the fender well and tire hit with the degreaser and then hitting the the faces of the rim with some iron remover to get them nice and clean and coming back through with the tire brush to hit the tires and the fender wells and finishing off the wheel with hitting the rim faces with a soft detail brush spraying it clean Now a lot of people are wondering, Metal X does work really good for exhaust tips too. Helps break down all the carbon buildup that is produced by your engine and it eats it off very nicely and leaves a nice finish once it's rinsed off. During the wash process, we make sure to go back and hit the grill and all the other little emblems with a soft detail brush to get in all the cracks and crevices because as you saw at the beginning, this car <laughs> really needs it. After we got the first two stain ridden seats out of the car, we went to the back seats to start working on pulling those out next and you will not believe the amount of food, and candy and trash that was underneath these seats. There was even like bugs. It was, it was disgusting. So now we're getting everything prepped up to go ahead and get the carpet pulled out, getting all the loose trash, all the crumbs, anything we can pick up. And we're going to come back through with a vacuum, vacuum up the rest of it, and go ahead and get this carpet pulled out.
Now that we're pulling the carpet out, you can see just how much filth was underneath it from stains being spilled on and it seeping through. So we got that out and we're gonna go ahead and, and start extracting it. Um, this is just purely for y'all's pleasure for extracting. We did take this carpet out and pressure wash it as you'll see here in a few minutes. It is disgusting. Like nonetheless, probably one of the worst cars we have done on the page so far. in the seat exercising the same process that we always use which is coming through hitting it with some all-purpose degreaser breaking up all the fibers and all the stains all the nasty that's in the seat with a drill brush 
and then coming back through with an extractor and pulling all the stain.
Now it's time to work on the carpet again. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it with some all-purpose degreaser. Give it a nice scrub and then hit it with the pressure washer. After that, we're gonna stand it up on a stand. That way all the dirty water runs to the bottom and then we can pressure wash it off again and make sure it's all clean.
Now we're going to turn our attention to the plastics of the vehicle, hitting the, do the dashboard first with some all-purpose cleaner, uh, a stiff detail brush to get into the cracks of the steering wheel, and mopping it dry with a soft microfiber.
that we got all the plastics taken care of, it's time to address this nasty floor. Uh, even though it was covered with carpet, there was still tons of food and dirt and grime that just seeped through the carpet and went straight to the actual floorboard. So for this, we're gonna hit it first while it's dry with a detail brush and a vacuum, get all the loose stuff up, come back through with some degreaser, hit it with a stiff bristled brush, and then go ahead and hit it one more time with the vacuum and then mop everything dry with a soft microfiber towel.
Now that we got the car put back together, you guys can see that the transformation is quite remarkable. The car went came a long, long way. So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. If y'all liked what you saw today, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave down in the comments what you'd like to see next, what was your favorite part of the video. Any key part that you really like, just let us know. And until next time.